Magnus Carlsen, it's Levon Aronian, and we're joined by Magnus Carlsen. Hi, Magnus, thank you for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> so how do you feel after making it through with a record score of 34 in the preliminaries? Yeah, it was uh, was a very good uh, score. It was I think uh, um, taking you know taking the uh, position and so on into to account. It was on par with some of my best uh, best ever uh, rapid round robin events. So wow. that was um, that was very good. Uh, I feel like um, the quality of um, my games perhaps uh, dipped a little bit um, the last couple today, but overall uh, it was very good. All right. And um, you do it even with uh, losing three points to Hans Niemann with uh, drawing from that game. I think the whole world is wondering, Magnus, what was the reason you uh, withdrew from that game? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I cannot... Um... Cannot uh, particularly speak on uh, on uh, on that, uh, but uh, you know people can draw their own conclusion, and um, they uh, certainly uh, certainly have. Uh, and um, have to say, I'm uh, very impressed by uh, Neiman's uh, play, uh, and uh, I think uh, his mentor Maxim Bluge must be doing. Uh, a great, uh, a great job. Okay, uh, can you confirm or not confirm that it has to do with um, suspecting him of cheating? I will not comment on that. Okay, it's been a dramatic time for chess, and of course, uh, a special two weeks for you as well. Also, after Sinkful Cup, how are you doing in all of this? I'm okay, just you know, living, living my life. Uh, and uh, trying to do well in the um, in the tournaments. I mean, people people who know me and followed, for instance, the tournament in in Zagreb in 2019 know that I can uh, sort of uh, shut things up when, I'm, when I play. So that's. Mm -hmm. And with a performance rating actually now uh, of 29, 39 in the preliminaries, how are you able? To, to stay so focused and just play some of your best chess? Well, I'm, I'm uh, you know, happy to, to play chess. That usually makes me, makes me happy. And um, as I said, um, I, have, I have a lot of experience and generally it makes me, uh, makes me uh, adaptable, um, but... Um, you know the um, the score in the preliminaries is uh, is is nice, but uh, now I'm facing a very strong opponent already in the um, in the quarters, so uh, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean anything at this point. Uh huh. And uh, Magnus, you you mentioned um, uh, a name there. I think maybe a trainer of Hans uh, Niemann that he's doing um, a good job. Um, could you say some more about that? Is is that because you think he's helping Hans in the games? <laughs> no, I will not say anything more uh, about uh, about that subject. Will you at some point make a comment on all the fuss that is going on? Uh, yeah, I hope to hope to say a little bit more after uh, after the tournament. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask you very in general, Magnus, because the whole world, uh, the whole chess world, the whole world actually is talking about cheating these days. Is in general cheating a problem in chess? Do you think? Uh, I think um, individual people will answer the question. Um, Pretty, um, you know, differently depending on their on their own on their own uh, experiences. Um, but um, um, I mean, regardless of whether it's it's a massive problem or not, um, it's um, I think fairly uh, fairly easy to um, to to cheat and on general. You know, um, on a general basis, I think that um, uh, 
cheaters in the in the futures uh, in the future have to be um, uh, you know uh, it, it should not be taken uh, should not be taken lightly um, neither um, online or, or over the board mm. do you have um, sort of a, something you urge to say to young players playing online who maybe are tempted to cheat to maybe get higher rating or for whatever reason <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I understand. It's um, it's uh, it's tempting, but um, yeah, I would, wouldn't uh, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> is uh, organizers is FIDE is are they doing enough to um, avoid cheating and to uh, you know punish if there is a suspicion of cheating? It's mm, hard to um, it's hard to say really. Would you like to see some more action be taken in uh, terms of cheating? Yeah, as I said, I'll uh, comment. Uh, I, you know, I'll probably um, say a bit more after the tournament and uh, whether it's on um, that particular subject or something else. We'll just have to see. All right, uh, I'll leave it with that. Finally, Magnus, you play Levon in um, the quarterfinals, and you've had the chance also to play Gelfand, Ivanchuk here in the preliminaries. How have you enjoyed uh, playing with these legends? Um, obviously, the game against Ivanchuk was um, was a uh, great fight. Um, should have won at some point, but then he defended very well afterwards. Um, wouldn't quite put Levon in, um, <laughs> in the same category. He's turning 40 but... next month, actually. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's it's surprising that um, he and uh, Peter Leko, who um, you know started a lot earlier, they're actually just three years um, three years apart. But Levon came into the elite pretty much at the same uh, same time as I did, like one year earlier. So I consider him to be sort of the same generation. Um, as as I am, even though he's technically uh, technically a bit older, but yeah, in general, I, he's, he's a super tough um, uh, opponent. It looked like he didn't have the best tournament here. Then he pulled himself together, and um, in any one match, he's um, extremely dangerous. Mm. And we actually have five teenagers in the knockout stage. Are we seeing the start of a generation shift in chess? Oh, it's already. Um, it's not at the start, it's already <laughs> happening, and uh, um, I feel like um, it's already kind of well known that guys like, um, like Prague, Arjun, uh, Vincent Keimer, uh, that they are very, uh, very strong, uh, but now, um, you know, others are, are coming along as well. So. Um, it's certainly certainly exciting to see, and um, well, it's motivating for me as well. Yeah, very cool to hear, Magnus. Uh, we really appreciate to hear your thoughts, and best of luck in quarterfinals. Thank you. Thanks for joining us.